Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a teacher talking to a group of students about summer jobs. Several students from this college went to work for Sunshine Holidays last year and enjoyed it. So I'm going to give you some information about working in their summer camps this year. The camps start on the 15th of June, so you must be free from then until August the 20th. Most students then spend September travelling around and having a holiday before they come home. The camps are for children who are between 10 and 15 years old, and to work there you have to be 19, so that's OK for most of you. You don't need to be good at sports or languages, but they only want people who can drive. That's because you'll take the children out on trips by car. Each week you'll get £65, so you could save over £500 during your time there. If you're interested, you need to write a letter and send it with a photo to Sunshine Holidays. So, does anyone have any questions? Now listen again. Several students from this college went to work for Sunshine Holidays last year and enjoyed it. So I'm going to give you some information about working in their summer camps this year. The camps start on the 15th of June, so you must be free from then until August the 20th. Most students then spend September travelling around and having a holiday before they come home. The camps are for children who are between 10 and 15 years old, and to work there you have to be 19, so that's OK for most of you. You don't need to be good at sports or languages, but they only want people who can drive. That's because you'll take the children out on trips by car. Each week you'll get £65, so you could save over £500 during your time there. If you're interested, you need to write a letter and send it with a photo to Sunshine Holidays. So, does anyone have any questions? That is the end of part two.